A subdomain is a domain that is part of another domain. My name is Sunday, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you step by step how to create a subdomain on Bluehost. Additionally, I'll be taking the time to explain why you need one. So go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the subscribe button. Let's get started. So what is a subdomain? A subdomain is simply part of an existing domain. Stay with me for a moment. I'm sure you've seen something like shop.domain.com. You've also seen something like such as news.domain.com. You might have as well seen something like blog.domain.com. So whatever is in front of a domain before you have the dot and the main domain name itself is considered a subdomain. So everything you see in this part of a domain, such as news.domain.com, shop.domain.com, is considered a subdomain. The good thing about subdomain is that they are completely free. So anyone that has a domain name can create a subdomain for that domain. Why that is very useful is that you don't have to pay for it. And use cases where this is very necessary is an example. If you own a website and later on you decide you want to integrate a shopping system into your website. Now, depending on the platform powering your website, the content management system you're using, you can also integrate a website right on the domain itself. But sometimes some people prefer to create the shop or the news part or the blog part of their site on the subdomain and the reason be being that it gives complete freedom over that part of the website so let's say for instance you build your shop and shop.domain.com is going to give you complete freedom which means you will be able to customize just the shop part of the website as you desire instead of having to modify the entire site itself because you want to integrate a shopping system so that's one use case where having a subdomain is very useful another use case where having a subdomain is important is for testing so let's say you have a project here a website on your domain itself and you want to create a staging website which is simply a duplicate of your website meant for testing so you find out that some people at times will do something like dev or developer dot domain dot com or some people do staging dot their domain dot com the net or whatever the extension of their domain is and this staging site will simply be a copy a replica of this exact site and if they want to do things such as update uh, such as updating a plugin or making changes to their site they do the changes first on the staging site the testing site and then they replicate the changes on the main site so you find out that if you're a wordpress user you find out that Plugin developers, WordPress itself, normally recommend doing tests on a staging site, a duplicate copy of your site meant for testing before pushing the change to, to your live website. So those are two scenarios where we are having a subdomain is really useful. Another use case where having a subdomain is useful is for learning. So let's say you have a domain here. Yeah? And you may want some way you can practice, some way you can just play around and test stuff. You will create a, a subdomain, will be example.domain.com or learning.yourdomain.com or depending what the extension of your domain is. And you could just keep play, playing around with the subdomain. And the good thing about that is that whatever you do on a subdomain doesn't actually affect the main domain itself. So you can work on the subdomain itself independently, build site test stuff and you can always pull down what you have there without it without it affecting your main domain or the project or your main domain so those are use cases we having a subdomain is useful for people for some people like developers designers you find out that they could they have jobs they want to do for a client and some of them could just do some of them could just build uh the ui the demo on a subdomain of one of their domains or of their domain and then they send that to the client as a sample to see and once it's approved they can go ahead 
and moving to the client's domain. So, so those are different use cases where a subdomain is really handy and why it's important that you know how to create one. So now that you know what a subdomain is and how useful it is, let's go ahead and create a subdomain. So the first step is to log into your Bluehost account and you can do that just by going to bluehost.com and then clicking on the login right here. Okay, so that's going to load the login page and you want to enter either your email or your domain name depending on how you like to log in. I like to log in with my domain and my password. So what after typing in your domain, the next thing you want to do is to type in your password. I'm just going to open my password manager app and I'm going to copy my password and I'm going to paste it in and click on login. So this is just going to load the Bluehost dashboard. Great, so we are now in the Bluehost dashboard and you can see the different menus we have. So what you want to do is to go to domains. So just click domains at the left here and it's going to show you your domain. So if you have multiple domains, you're going to see all the different domains listed here. I have just one domain in this test account so that's why I'm, I have just one showing up here so once you see this what you want to do is to go to just where we have the manage you go to the drop down the arrow here and just click on it and then you're going to see subdomains as the last option so go ahead and click that and that is going to load the interface where you can create subdomains All right, so you can see this is the interface where we can create subdomains and then you can see here it says what is a subdomain. And you can see here that I had one subdomain already created which I just created for testing purpose. If you don't have a subdomain created, let me remove this so you can see exactly what it will look like if you don't have a subdomain created. All right, so if you don't have a subdomain created, you're going to see this, it's going to say, you haven't had any subdomains yet. And then you see some FAQ, some frequently asked questions about subdomain, and here it says what is a subdomain. So you can go ahead and click this just to read a bit about subdomain. All right, so to create one, all you have to do is to click on add subdomain here, and it's going to ask you for or the subdomain you want to create. So let's say you want to create a subdomain for a shop page. You can just do shop and you have to select the domain you want to create the subdomain for. So let's assume that you have multiple domains EA and Bluehost. You'll be able to see all of them listed here. So you just select the, uh, the domain you want to create the subdomain on. Remember, a subdomain is part of another domain, it's part of an existing domain. So this is the existing domain that you want to create the subdomain under. So this is, for me, is this. I'm just going to select the domain. And here it says on folder. As this is simply the folder that's going to be created for the site and the files for the site that are going to be on your subdomain. So you can leave this empty and click add subdomain and blue OS is going to automatically just create the folder for you and name it what it wants or you can give it a custom name so you can say shop and this is just going to create a folder called shop where all the website files for the subdomain is going to be stored so once you're done you want to click add subdomain All right, so you can see how our subdomain has been created, shop.lifewithsobi.com. But for now, we've not done anything yet, so this is just going to be a blank page. So if we try to visit it, you're going to just see that, you see, it said not found because nothing exists there. So you can also create a website on a subdomain, an independent website on a subdomain. And I'm going to show you shortly how you can do that. So this is a bonus for this video. To create a website on your subdomain, what you have to do is to click my site. And in this example, I'll be showing you how you can create a WordPress site on your subdomain. Okay, so the next thing you want to do once you're here is to click on add site and click create new site. 
and you want to click on get started here and we're going to install WordPress so this is the WordPress site that we're, we'll be creating so we can say live we so be shop and you can just say shop now and if you're not familiar with creating a WordPress site I highly recommend watching my complete video on how to create a WordPress website on Bluehost where I showed from the beginning to end how to install WordPress and how to fully design a professional looking WordPress website All right so once you have your site name and site tagline in the next you want to click on is next and here is going to ask you the domain that you want to install WordPress on you have to select this drop down to show you your list of domains and subdomains all right so if you have other domains you're going to see them here so you can see our subdomain right here so we're going to select it so for you you just go ahead and select your shop your your subdomain okay and make sure that this is empty the directory is empty let's assume that you enter something here let's say example and you go ahead and install wordpress wordpress is going to be installed on shop dot your domain forward slash example so it's not going to be installed directly on the subdomain is going to be installed on what we call a subdirectory of the subdomain I'm going to leave that empty and i'm going to click on next awesome and you can see that wordpress has been installed and in our subdomain and now if we copy the address now and we open a new tab and paste it in and visit it you're going to see that we have a site on our subdomain so you can see we now have a website on our subdomain and this website is going to work independently so now you know how to create a subdomain on blue Ooze and why you need one if you find this video helpful please support me by subscribing to my youtube channel and you can click the bell icon so you'll be notified when i upload new helpful videos like this thank you for watching